welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be sharing something totally different on my channel. I have never talked about this before really, just, just kind of mentioned it here and there that I don't wear highlighter like on my cheeks and stuff because of my beautiful acne scars. I, just a little background story, I used to have like really bad cystic acne all over down here and like on my cheeks. Oh, and this is not a lovely pimple. It is a lovely mosquito bite that decided to bite me as soon as I went outside a while ago. So that's what this little red thing is right here. It's really itchy and pissing me off, but it's, um, it's a, um, mosquito bite. Sorry. I'm like kind of nervous. So anyways, um, I did want to share with you what's going on, what we're going to be doing today, because I do not have any makeup on. We are going to this wellness place, Med Spa, that is going to do a PRP on my skin, microneedling PRP. So it's like, it's plasma. They're going to take blood out and they are going to put it into my skin and they are going to put, it's like a whole bunch of little needles and I, I'll, I'm going to be vlogging everything so you guys know. But I did want to share with you what my skin looks like. I am going to be going four different months and this is my first month and today is February 25th, 2019 and I'm super excited. So I want to share with you something that has really bothered me ever since I got that acne cleared up. I have really, really, really bad acne scars. To me, they're bad because they're very visible when I have makeup on. Oh, hello. Um, you can kind of see there. I have them all around there. You can't see them that bad now that I'm trying to show you, but they are there. And see, this one's a really good deep one. Let me see. There we go. So you can kind of see that there. I have some chapstick on my on my lips, but that's about it. I didn't even moisturize. She said come with a clean face. And I don't have much up here, like literally hardly any. I do have a lot right here, and you can't really see it. And I was trying to kind of blend in my bangs to hold them back while I do that. See? See? And when I get in the sun, you can definitely see it. Oh, that's so embarrassing. But that is what I had after, after all of the, there we go. See, you can see the holes now. See how deep they are. They are pretty deep. They're pretty deep. So that is what they look like, and I really wanted to share with you what they look like before I go and get it done. I saw a lot of YouTubers do this, and then they go, oh my gosh, it just keeps getting darker and darker. Oh my God. But um, I have seen a lot of YouTubers do this, and they have beautiful, perfect skin, and they go in and do this, and I'm like, well, you already have perfect skin, you know, so you're not really showing me if it works or not. So anyways... I did want to share with you what my skin looked like beforehand. Um, it does say that you have to wait like a few weeks for you to start seeing results. And then I've seen some girls that see results right away. She did say that I have like some smile lines that she can definitely feel with my plasma. So it will, you know, it'll take that away. But I'm, it's going to come right back because I smile a lot. Ugh. But yeah, this is really itching me. I hope she can still like stab that little guy. But other than that, I am going to take you guys along with me and we'll see how it comes out and if it hurts because I'm really, really, really nervous. If I forget the night before, I'll put it on after I get my makeup on, the little one. Yeah. I think I'll just spin it again so we can get all the good stuff. It doesn't make you weak to see blood. There you Straight go. from there. Uh -huh. so that was...
your first vampire facial. Look All right. That. Now, I'm going to inject plasma underneath your eyes. Just fill those up so they don't get the little thin skin and dark circles. Into your eyelids. So, um, over the next couple of days, then that could you imagine you... that would have super hurt the eyelid? Oh, I've done mine before. <gasps> Does that hurt it so much? But oh, and it made man. such a big difference. <laughs> so, I don't really advertise. Stephanie was doing mine, and I said, "Do my baggy eyelids," and she's like, "No, I'm not doing your baggy." I said, "Come on, let's just see what happens." It did really good, but I think the skin's so thin you really shouldn't do it because you numbed it. And, and she then... just went where the bone is, not down on where my eye is, oh. just on the bone. But it, it, it did hurt. Did. Yeah. But I feel like it helped a lot. Okay, so let me. Oh, I do some... look beat up. That's you nice. Do. We send very few people out of here looking beautiful. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. That's good because yeah. I know it's going to look really good. Okay, guys, so I am out. This is what it ended up looking like. This looks, this started falling off my head. I don't even care. I'm going to come and go inside and take it off. But this is what it looks like. Honestly, the pain didn't hurt as bad as I thought but it did hurt I mean not Kim Kardashian crying hurt but it did hurt like up here on my forehead especially right here in the middle it hurt and then like right here was I started laughing because it literally was tickling me like up and down the side of my nose it makes you want to sneeze but the bridge of my nose hurt up here bothered me a little bit my chin bothered me a little bit but everywhere else was good another thing that really hurt was whenever she put um, some the plasma I will insert some clips of what it looked like whenever she was inserting the plasma underneath my eyes she said I am going to have um, like black eyes tomorrow um, and they do feel very, very, very swollen right now. It, like, I literally look down and you can just, I feel like there's skin or something like in the way because I can't really look down and it feels like my face is ginormous. And my face is still very numb. So, I don't know, for some reason, since she did put it like around my lips, it literally feels like I went in there and got Botox, like my skin tie-end. That's just what it feels like. And it feels like I got like some lip filler, which I definitely want to get done. But this is what it looks like so far. Okay, you guys. So I think I am going to actually put this video up. What I wanted to do is kind of just keep it and update you and stuff like that but even though then i think it will be too too long to go for maybe even five months doing this and then trying to fit it all in one video so i am going to put this video up and share with you guys the very first time that i go in you can still kind of see them here so you can see them i think my face is just swollen a little bit and that's why you can't see them too too bad right now I can still see them though but I know that they're not gonna go away just on this first try and um, I'm just I don't know I'm happy I'm very happy so she did give me this little baggie with a bunch of instructions and stuff on what I have to do I am you cannot wash your face off 
Um, so I am going to, she said I can wash it off in like four hours, but I'm going to sleep in it. So I'm not going to take it off. So in one hour, she wants me to put this uh, Rhonda Allison Hyaluronic Serum. She said to put that on like as soon as it starts feeling a little tight and I need to moisturize it, which I am a sucker for a moisturizer, so that is not going to be a problem. I'm not going to let my skin be feel like that because it, it really bothers me. And then she didn't tell me anything about the therapy serum, but I'm sure it's in the instructions. So I got a therapy serum. And then tomorrow morning, whenever I wake up, she said whenever I do rinse off my face or the first time that I do rinse off, she wants me to use the Rhonda Allison Citrus Gel. There you go. So it looks just like that. And she said to just use this to make sure my hands are clean every time I touch my face. And then tomorrow night, I am going to use this Soothing Intense Hydrating Mask. So tomorrow night, I will use this mask. She says that it covers your face and goes all the way down to your neck. So to go ahead and use that tomorrow night, and after, she said it's going to feel very, very, very tight. So, it already does, really. She got me some uh, alcohol prep pads. She said to wipe down my phone, like absolutely anything that's going to touch my face. She said my sunglasses as well. I'm not going to be putting these on. I mean, they're, they're huge. They're going to touch a lot of my face and... I don't even want to deal with it. And then she gave me the instructions in here. So she has me pretty, pretty prepped and it ready. It is now a full day after the procedure. I have not washed my face yet. I've just kept it, kept it moisturized with that serum that she gave me. Um, it's already the day after, so I can wash it, but I decided to leave it on as long as possible. And since I am not going to be working for the next few days, I figured I'm going to leave, let the plasma sink in and give it enough time to get in there as much as possible. I am very swollen. I really wish I would have gotten a picture as soon as I got out of bed this morning because my eyes were almost shut. They were like really, really small because I had like the biggest cheeks ever. But I feel like after I got up and, you know, ate some breakfast and stuff, which I haven't been eating anything um, too heavy, really. I have just been, you know, like snacking here and there for some reason. I'm just, I haven't been that hungry. And then every time I eat, it kind of hurts to open my mouth at all, like very big. So even like laughing, it like, it hurts my face because it's so tight. And you can just see that... It is like very swollen under here and that's what it looks like but yeah that is what it looks like right now and oh, it's it's been it hasn't really bothered me at all just as soon as it starts feeling too 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 tight I know that it's time to add another layer of that serum but other than that, I'm going to be like this for the next few days, you know. So um, I am um, going to, I think, cut it off here. I look a hot mess, like a hot mess. But I know after the swelling goes down and stuff like that, that it's going to all be worth it. I mean, it's just, you have to give it time. You can't expect to get out of there and the next day you're going to have flawless skin or anything like that. So I am going to go ahead and end this vlog here, but I am going to do another like update in a couple of weeks to kind of show you guys my results. And of course, next month, um, in a month exactly, I will be doing this all over again. So gradually we will get there and I just, I can't wait to see the results. I'm kind of sad with myself that it took me this long to jump on that wagon and do this. I didn't know how good it was on its results until I started like looking into it a lot and stuff like that. But 
I so far I I am okay with looking a hot mess feeling beat up because I know that it's gonna look great in the end I know it's gonna have awesome results so I don't mind it at all of course my holes look uh, or my acne scars I call it holes because they are holes to me see right here I have a a lot to me they kind of look like they're less noticeable but I think it's just because my face is so 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 swollen right now and I'm not naked I have a shirt on but that is what it looks like and I'm just excited to see what those results are going to look like in a few weeks so I will definitely be updating you guys. So if you are not subscribed to my channel, please make sure to do so because I am going to be doing this, like I said, at once a month for about four, maybe five months. So we'll see. I'm so excited. Oh, it hurts to smile. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I'll let you guys go, but I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like that button because I shared something with you guys that I didn't plan on sharing with you guys because it was just one of those insecurities of mine that's like, like just my insecurity. It's really embarrassing to me, you know. I couldn't go to Walmart without having makeup on. I couldn't go anywhere without having makeup on because it felt like everybody's looking at my acne scars. So now that I'm finally getting them them worked on, I, I'm excited. I'm excited and I definitely wanted to be 100% real with you guys. Show you guys so you guys know if you are um, dealing with this as well and they're bothering you and you're like, what can help me that isn't going to be super duper expensive, this is definitely the way to go. It does get expensive if, if you go like five, six times. But it's, I don't know, I think it's a great way to get it done. And they also told me that um, I don't have a lot of wrinkles. So it's good that I started that now because it helps with wrinkles as well. So it gets, it just literally clears up all of your skin. And it's good for you if, I mean, if you have wrinkles, if you have any kind of texture on your skin, it doesn't even have to just be acne scars. Any any kind of texture that they have on the skin, what is it called um, after you have a baby and you get baño? I don't know. I will insert what that means in English or the word in English because I, I just know it in Spanish. It's baño whenever you get like patches on your skin after you give birth and stuff like that. People do it for that too. So it's, I mean, PRP is great. Oh my gosh, I look crazy in front of you guys. But it's okay, I'm just being 100% real with you guys right now. So you guys have an awesome, awesome rest of your day, night, whenever you are watching this. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.